there's an increasing movement in the African-American community today called the, the Black Hebrew or Black Hebrew Israelite movement that claims that the original Israelites, therefore the original Jews, were black and that today's Jews are not really Jews. There are differences among their beliefs. Some say that the white man is the manifestation of Satan. Some say that Jesus is the Messiah. So you've got a wide range of beliefs, but they have this in common, that it is the black man who is the original Hebrew or Israelite. They'll point to verses like Song of Solomon, the first chapter, where the woman speaking there says, I am black, but beautiful, using the Hebrew word shachor. Well, well, what's interesting there is that the next verse says, I've been darkened by the sun. In other words, my skin is dark because I've been darkened by the sun, not because I have black skin to start. What's also interesting is a verse like Lamentations 4 that says your, your leaders, your nobles were, were white. They, they, were, they were pure like milk, like snow. And it doesn't seem to be speaking about just their inside character being pure because later in the verse, it says that they're ruddy. They're, it'd be like red-haired, red, reddish skin, ruddy. Again, that doesn't speak naturally of someone that would be an African. And let's also remember that when Moses married an Ethiopian woman, according to Numbers, the 12th chapter, there was controversy in the family over that. Ethiopians were black. Ethiopians, a Cushite in Hebrew, they were black. As for everything we know about Moses and his ancestors, they go back not to Africa, they go back to Mesopotamia, the Babylonians, the Assyrians. These are Middle Eastern people, like the Iraqi people today. Their skin would be darker than mine as a Caucasian, but lighter than the skin of a black man. As Billy Graham once said as he was speaking to a black crowd, uh, he said to them, he said, Jesus was lighter than you and darker than me. Oh, there was certainly some black blood in Israelite history. Uh, No question about that. I don't dispute that. But were the Israelites as a whole black? Certainly not. They were middle Eastern. And that's also clear from what we call the iconography. When you look at the places from whence Israel came in its earliest origins, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the patriarchs, when you look at inscriptions and things from their old homelands, you see that the peoples there are Middle Eastern people. And remember, the children of Israel were in Egypt, all right, but they were not Africans themselves. They were slaves in Egypt and they came out of Egypt. And even in Egypt, most of the people are not black. You had the Nubians who were black. Most of the people would be darker Middle Eastern people. The last thing, though, is this. And black Hebrew Israelites will say, we are the original Jews. We are the true Jews because only the curses of Deuteronomy 28, they can only apply to us, the curses for disobedience to the Torah, they can only apply to us, only we have suffered those things and gone in ships to be slaves. Actually, that's a kind of a strange teaching, isn't it? It's got to be us because no one's disobeyed more than us, and that's why we've been cursed. That's kind of a strange teaching. What's also strange is that well, I, I didn't hear of any black Hebrew Israelites in Nazi Germany saying, hey, we're the real Jews, kill us. It's odd. It's odd that when there's Jewish persecution around the world, the black Hebrew Israelites are not saying, hey, kill us. We're the real Jews. Interesting, isn't it? As for the end of Deuteronomy, going in ships to slaves, there are actually several times in ancient Israelite history when that could have easily been fulfilled regarding the Jewish people. So, The black Hebrew Israelites, the original Jews, the original Israelites, absolutely, categorically, no. 